Hi everybody, welcome to my very first vlog here on YouTube um, and my vlog is for uh, the Body Shop Body Butter uh, range. It's not all the range that they have, they have a lot of body butters but the reason I wanted to do a very quick vlog and it's quick because we're all busy and when I'm looking for a product that I want to buy and I want to see a review, I want to see a quick review before I purchase the product. I don't want to see you know 20 minutes, 12 minutes, 10 minutes. So this review will be under five minutes okay so the body butters that i have is the um passion fruit papaya the almond the shea butter the limited edition blueberry the lotus flower the olive oil body butter the new christmas uh, christmas 2014 uh, apple glazed apple body butter and finally i've got one of the small miniature body butters and this one is the coconut okay you can see the difference in size that you're going to get if you buy, purchase the 50 mil or if you purchase the 200 mil and um, if you wait for the sales and the body shop are very good at having lots of sales throughout the year you can often buy for the same price as the small one the large one in whichever you know body butter you choose to buy now I tend to do most of my um, uh, uh, body shop uh, uh, shopping online which means that you can't see what it is that you're really buying okay so you can't see the consistency you certainly can't smell what it is that you're buying but if it tells you that it's glazed apple you're going to expect it to smell like apple same with blueberry almond and so on the problem I have with body shop butters is that from my experience of purchasing them, the ones that I have here, um, is that the consistency is all very different. And so, for example, if you purchase the sheer body butter, what you're getting is a butter. It literally is. You could spread it with a knife, okay? And I like that consistency, okay? It's not going to come out. That is a nice, thick butter. It's very rich. And um, the smell, I have to say, as much as it's got that lovely buttery, creamy undertone it's got a very uh, sort of like a, a high note or a back note of um, a, a very chemical smell that you tend to get with all of the body shops body butters uh, the almond again this is very much a butter very similar to the shea butter I love almond as you can see I've used quite a lot of it okay so that's again it's not that dissimilar to the smell of the shea butter and um, it's just got that kind of marzipan high note but again it's got that chemical smell to it the papaya to show the consistency again very much a thick butter and again very similar to the two that i've just shown you and um, it's very true to what it says it's got a lovely papaya smell it's very fruity and um, almost like a tangerine smell it's beautiful but it's still got that little smell of that chemical kind of alcohol smell that, that um, um, uh, synthetic smell that I don't enjoy when I'm, I'm purchasing um, body care products then we've got the passion fruit and again we've got a butter ever so slightly less buttery than the three that I've just shown you but still very much a butter okay and um, it's not that dissimilar to the papaya um, that you know it, again it's all very like the smells are very similar um, but again nice and fruity it does smell like passion fruit but again with that kind of synthetic smell to it okay then we've got here the olive oil butter very much a butter okay I've just put some on my chin I think okay this is my favorite and the reason it's my favorite is because it has the, the less of a chemical um, and the high note to it than the others so it smells more natural so I do like that one that's definitely my favorite and um, now we're going to move on to the lotus flower now this one for me is far too strong it's such an incredibly strong floral smell and it is not really a butter this is very much a rich cream okay and um, if I were to take out the, the butter it's going to come out literally like you put your hand into to butter the, the ones I've just mentioned but with this one it's much it's much more creamy okay so you're dealing with the cream here okay and um, I mean that's not a bad thing you know if you don't want to be too sort of sticky with the butters that I've just shown then fine but the smell is just strong that's strong okay let me just quickly get rid of that keeping this under five minutes okay then we're going to move on to the limited edition blueberry and um, again very much a butter very strong this is almost like sweets when you were a youngster 
So it's not unpleasant, but it's incredibly strong. And I can't see myself putting any of these butters on my skin and then putting a perfume on. They're so highly perfumed, and yet the perfumes don't smell natural. Well, let's have a look with that in mind. Um, I'm assuming that the perfumes are synthetic. Now, if I'm wrong on that, I apologise. I, I literally need to peel that away to get to the ingredients, and I should have done that first. But I would bet my life that there's some perfume in there that is synthetic and not, not that natural. The large body butters, the ones I've just been through, all of these, they're £13 each. The smaller one, I believe, is about £6. Okay. Um, and finally, glazed apple. Again, it's a cream. This is not a butter. This is very much a cream. Same consistency as the lotus flower and unbelievably strong. It actually smells like, um, all, oh, I'm not going to say rotten apples, but um, rotten apples. Rotten apples. Way, way too strong. Finally, very quickly, we've got the coconut. Okay. Um, it's probably a, a, a mixture of um, butter and cream, so it's not quite the consistency of the almonds or the shea butter, which again is much thicker. Very pleasant, reminds you of being on a holiday, but right at the top of, of the scent is that top note of synthetic, you know, it, it really is. So overall, um, Body Shop, um, you know, <laughs> I, they're just for me certainly not my favorite products far too perfumed and um, the perfumes don't smell natural none of them do and um, my favorite being the um, the olive uh, body butter and I just want to finish by saying that I'm going to do a review my next review is going to be for Declio and um, this is a, a massive um, collection that I bought from QVC it all comes in this lovely bag and it cost me 99 pounds and 50 pence um, and I don't think it was money well spent I've got lots of Declio uh, products um, but that one I have to say was not value for money so I'm going to do my next review it will be my second ever review on Declio and the body butter has been my first review so Hey ho, you know, we're all new to this, but well, I'm definitely new to this, but you know, you've got to start somewhere is what I meant to say. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.